I might need to get a little bit like zoomed in there. Hang on, BRB. Hello everybody and welcome to my November wrap up. If you want to see what books I have read this month and also an unboxing from the Lit Emporium, then keep watching. Hello everybody and welcome to my November wrap up. So this month I have read one, two, three, four, five books. Five books. So I started off with Mad Girl, which is a autobiography from Bryony Gordon. Um, this is all about her addiction, um, her drug dependency, bulimia and it, it is right up my street because I have been down the road that this lovely lady has been down myself. And so it's got tea, I spelled tea on it, so I do apologize. But it is, it's not depressing, it's a really humorous look at what addiction does <laughs> and how it affects you and affects people and affects your family. Um, it is really good. I would definitely recommend it. So it's called Mad Girl, A Happy Life of the Mixed Up Mind. She also has OCD, so Obsessive Compulsive Disorder and Depression as well. And it is just really lovely. A really um, honest, humorous book about, yeah, addiction and mental health issues. So I definitely recommend this one. So I gave this book, which way shall I go? We'll go that way. I gave this book five stars because it is absolutely brilliant. Definitely recommend it. The next book that I read is Her Name Was Rose by Claire Allen. I picked this up in the works for two pounds. I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain because it's just a really awful day here in the UK. It's like the end of the world. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, so I picked this up. This is only two pounds in the works. It's a really easy, really good read. It's about a girl who witnesses an accident um and she um gets quite obsessed with the person who she saw killed and then she gets a job where this person used to work etc etc so without giving anything away the plot twist is really good it's a really easy read not too taxing you can read it in a couple of days so i gave this book stars because it's a good read now next because I was kind of doing non-fiction November as well so lucky by Alice Siebold oh my god this book just broke me it is amazing it is a real honest account of her rape and assault when she was a university student or a college student if you are in America and it is just absolutely amazing really brave and I totally get it. I completely, completely get it. Um, it can be a bit triggering at times, so if um, anything like that kind of upsets you or you have experienced it, and now there's a plane going over, <laughs> um, be warned, it is quite triggering, but it is an amazing, brave, fantastic read. So this got five stars because it is just so awesome. Then I just literally finished City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. This is a young adult read. It is about a girl, Cassie, who um, was nearly drowned and got saved by a ghost and now her and this ghost are tied. It is really good actually for a YA. It's so quick to read, you can read it in a day because if you see like like the line spacing and stuff. Oh god, there's my bookmark from Premiering. Um, it is really, really good read. I'm glad I didn't buy it. I was thinking of buying it, but I borrowed it from the library because I think for 7 99 but then it is young adult. Um, but if you're gonna read it, get it from the library. So, and like I said, it's a really easy, quick, simple. I enjoyed it. So I gave this one three out of five. And I think that's just because it's a young adult. And now, last but not least, a discovery of witches so i had been um and ahhing about this book for ages whether to get it and then the sky uh, one series came on and i really enjoyed it and i really enjoyed the book i have got the second one which i'm going to start after because i'm reading jane eyre at the moment so i'm going to start the second one once i finish jane eyre i loved it 
it's kind of an adult twilight some of it is a bit tacky like oh, i don't know how to kind of um explain it without spoilers but basically they get it on and it's like oh my god there was fireworks literally fireworks when they're down and doing the deed and it's like come on people like get in the real world it's never like that but it is a book and it is fantasy and it's about a vampire and a witch so yeah definitely i so i gave this four stars i did really really like it and i'm gonna start the next one after i finish jane eyre so those are my wrap ups so next i have to show you i made a book sleeve so i do have a video on how to make these i made a couple of these at the weekend they just keep your books nice and neat i shall show you the inside oh you might not be able to see it very well because the light in here is terrible um it's harry potter on the inside and it's the marauders map they are so simple i will pop the link to my video on how to make these um yeah so this we myself and julie my best friend went to the knitting and stitching show and what i saw well actually julie saw it first and i was like oh my god i need that fabric so that was my weekend make i made three next the lovely rio at lit emporium now if you've never seen rio's instagram go check her out and check her store out it is amazing and she said um she sent me some pins really kindly sent me some pins and these would make an amazing christmas present i haven't opened the box all i've done is undo the cellar tape so here it goes let's have a look oh so it comes with to lexi thank you for promoting my products best wishes rio so it's got a lovely postcard I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am free human being with independent will, Charlotte Bonte. How lovely is that? I'm very apt because I'm reading Jane Eyre at the moment. Oh, look, she's got um, a little lit important card. All her stuff is absolutely beautiful. I put all the links to her site below. So this is what it comes with. I don't want to rip it because it's so pretty. So she does lots and lots and lots. Oh, bless her. Oh my word. So she has sent me the pin. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's not coming up. I'll take some photos and pop some photos in. So this says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. It's just like a Jane Eyre pin, which is beautiful. And then, oh, there's another pin and it's on a, like a library card and it says just one more chapter which is absolutely beautiful i'm such a lucky person and then the next again is on a library card and it says readers gonna read let me see if i can i will pop photos of all of these because they're not showing up very well yeah i'll put some photos in and then also Oh, a really cute notebook. Let me live, love, and say it well in good sentences, Sylvia Plath. A little notebook. Always need a notebook. So I will pop all the details for Rio's shop in the description box below. Definitely go and check her stuff out because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so that is it. That is my wrapper. I am currently reading Jane Eyre, and after that, I'm going to read the next Discovery of Witches. So that is all. Happy reading! Don't forget to check out my other channel, Lexi Loves Stitching. Also, our Crochet Beginners Group Book Club. I will leave all the information for everything down in the description box below. Take care and happy reading.